Uh, today, in visiting here, I find myself staying at the home of the president of the college. I appreciate this very much. I realized when I was uh, brooding about what poems to read that this is a kind of an odd poem for a person who has progressed so far. I feel that I have reached the height of my career staying with the president of the college. I'm, st I'm going to start zooming down by reading this, which was written when I didn't think I would ever join the administration. <laughs> but I like to join the administration very much, I used to say. This is called The Star in the Hills. It was written when I was teaching at San Jose State. I have to identify California, and I think from there on it's all right. The Star in the Hills. A star hit in the hills behind our house, up where the grass turns brown, touching the sky. Meteors have hit the world before, but this was near, and since TV. Few saw, but many felt the shock. The state of California owns that land, and out from shore three miles, and any stars that come will be roped off and viewed on weekdays eight to five. <laughs> A guard who took the oath of loyalty and denied any police record told me this. If you don't have a police record yet, you could take the oath and get a job if California should be hit by another star. <laughs> I'd promise to be loyal to California and to guard any stars that hit it, I said, or any place three miles out from shore, unless the star was bigger than the state, in which case I'd be loyal to it. <laughs> But he said no exceptions were allowed, and he leaned against the state-owned meteor so calm and puffed a cork-tipped cigarette that I looked down and traced with my foot in the dust and thought again and said, okay, any star. 